Um, let me tell you a little bit about Alzheimer's disease. Of course, it's the most common form of dementia in the elderly. We say there's over 5 million patients in the U.S. But the thing is, the pathology that causes Alzheimer's disease begins in everyone after 40 years old. So you're starting to form plaques and tangles and the like. And the thing is, we don't treat Alzheimer's disease until someone's diagnosed with symptoms, right? So someone deme has dementia. Imagine if we did that with cancer. Imagine if we said, you don't have cancer until you have symptoms, meaning you have to have pain, organ failure, and a large tumor. And now we're going to teach, treat you, or heart disease or diabetes. We take this for granted. But in neuropsychiatric diseases like Alzheimer's, we wait till symptoms, till the brain is degenerated to the point that it's not working correctly, and then we try to reverse that, which is absolutely absurd. What we need to do is treat Alzheimer's the way we treat cancer. See the earliest stages of pathology, and, and then at that point, not do prevention, but you're actually treating that pathology decades, a decade or two before symptoms. If we think about how many people in this country have Alzheimer's disease pathology, meaning that they're on their way with high probability to symptoms, it goes up to 25 million, making it the most prevalent disease in this country. It's part of aging, but it doesn't have to be how we age.